That's the way. That's the way. OK, let's uh, concentrate matters on health and uh, business now, uh, because Clodagh Rice is here with a first look at today's business news for us. And uh, you're talking about our construction industry, aren't you? Yes, I am indeed, Karen. There was a slowdown in our construction sector at the end of 2014. That's according to the latest survey carried out by the RICS and Tunes. They say it's because of a drop in infrastructure activity, which basically means building public facilities, things like schools, roads and hospitals. Northern Ireland was the only region in the UK where surveyors reported a decline of this type. Overall, the sector did still grow, but at a much slower rate, falling from 34% in the previous quarter to 13 Consequently, this means local surveyors have downgraded their outlook for the year ahead, but they are still expecting workloads to be higher in the next 12 months. I, I asked RICS Northern Ireland Director Ben Collins why he thinks growth slowed and what he would like to see done. The impasse over the Northern Ireland Executive's budget was one of the reasons that resulted in this. Overall, the activity being undertaken by local firms has risen for the fifth quarter in a row, but at a lower rate. The reality is that the growth is coming from work they are doing outside of Northern Ireland, notably GB, where a number of local firms have been increasingly focused. Activity within Northern Ireland itself remains depressed, and the decline in infrastructure activity will only widen this gap between the local and GB markets. We understand that public money is finite and becoming more scarce, but we would encourage the politicians to recognise the paramount importance of investing in infrastructure and to prioritise funding capital expenditure where possible. There are alternative methods of finance that should be considered. Research supports public-private partnerships, PPPs, for instance, as an additional viable solution. Now, next up, the commercial property sector. How does that look, Cloda? Well, actually, Northern Ireland saw its best result in years in the commercial property market in 2014. That's according to a report from Savills, which showed that £500 million worth of sales were made last year. The company said that transactions like the Obel office and apartment building in Belfast meant investment reached levels that we haven't seen since back before the financial crisis. 2014 performance was up 186% on the previous year and the growth was largely driven by retail sector deals which accounted for more than £440 million out of that total amount of half a billion. The report also said that they expect both retail and office rents to increase this year. Savills Director Neil Morrison says he expects investment to continue to be strong into 2015 which is positive but that will also increase strain on our limited supply of Grade A office accommodation. Well, one of the key drivers uh, has been rental growth and um, we expect both retail and office rents to increase this year. As a result, we've seen strong investor demand continuing uh, into 2015 and we already know of up to £300 million worth of assets which have already been scheduled for sale. The, f- the figures that have transacted are in excess of the 2006-2007 figures that were reported. It's, it's better than we expected and it's, it's a very positive sign but I think it's been down to the fact of the acceleration of the banks deleveraging their, their books and also just increased positivity and confidence in the North Irish market. I think there's a, a, a great deal of demand for grade A accommodation, but unfortunately our rental levels at the moment do not make it attractive for developers to go on site. And finally, a quick first look at the markets for me this morning. The FTSE is up 53 points at 64.19. A pound is worth $1.51 and €1.28, and that makes a euro worth 78 pence. Thanks, Clodagh. Time now for Thought for the Day, and this morning's speaker is Yvonne Aiken. Beginning in-